Ugh. So I pretty much recorded this video already, but looking back at the footage, it was kind of shitty and I was talking in circles a lot, but basically this video is just an update on my training, what happened after the meet, what I'm doing currently, and what's gonna happen right after the program, like basically this block of training. Essentially right after the meet, I took a bit of a deload. I'd say it probably wasn't enough because I still had some carryover fatigue coming into this new program. It's called the eight week uh, power building DUP program, I think. It's on Live Vault. I'll have the link below if you guys are interested, I suppose. But I wanted a program that would have me in the gym for most of the week. I really do enjoy lifting. It's like a fairly big part of my day, big part of my week, big part of my life at this point. It just, it's just really fun. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about it. But yeah, DUP for me has been <clears throat> more enjoyable than strictly powerlifting or bodybuilding because I can still lift heavy, but the volume's like still high and I can do all my accessory movements. So that's pretty much the program that I'm on currently and what I did after the meet. The first week was decent. It was a rough introduction. I skipped the intro week actually, which was probably what might be causing me trouble right now. But the first week wasn't that hard in terms of like the loads, like on the bar. It's pretty easy. Went through it uns unscathed pretty much. The second week, I started feeling a bit of joint pain especially in my shoulders, uh, specifically my rotator cuffs, mostly from benching and then a little bit from squatting because I think the pain kind of carried over. I really like pulling myself under the bar during squat. I can already feel it right now. It doesn't feel good. So yeah, the second week as well as like some knee pain in my right knee specifically just a little bit it wasn't enough to really worry me too much at that point last week was week three so week two is about two weeks ago i'm gonna throw up some clips from week three right now <laughs>
So you guys just saw squat, last set, then AMRAP. Uh, I think, no, that was from week two. So what I did week three was pretty much the same thing, but I had an extra set. So instead of a six by four, I had a seven by four and then an AMRAP seven by four. And it was like five pounds heavier, it was 413 pounds. So it really, the program kind of just pushes you to progress at like a really rapid pace, which I don't mind if like my joints can handle it. But at this point, it's feeling really, really bad. But you, you guys just saw squat and then bench. That was part of a six by four. I think that was my third set or so at 253 pounds. And then you guys just saw my deadlift. It was my last, no, it was my, yeah, it was my last set. Then I did an AMRAP with it, 470 pounds. Deadlift felt decent, but the knee pain is something I can't like really exaggerate. It's especially today. I went in today. I was like, let me do a really, really good warm up for my knee and just like my hips as well. I went to squat. The warm-ups felt pretty good. They were flying pretty much. And my head started hurting a lot. And usually when my head hurts while training, if I keep pushing myself, it'll, it'll lead to like more long lasting pain. I think that's called an exertion headache. I'm, I don't really like to self-diagnose like specific things, but it definitely fits the bill. It's just a shitload of pain when you're under the bar squatting as you go down and then going up just like i don't know how to describe it it's like someone driving a screw into your head and that's gotten a lot worse today so i had a three by five lined up at 413 pounds i had the first set of five in terms of like it going <laughs> it went i guess i went up and down five times my shoulders hurt my right knee was like yo dude i'm about to cave in I chose to not do the next two sets just to do some accessories and now I'm here talking to you guys. This was probably about two hours ago. So I came back probably 30 minutes ago and um, I'm planning to take the rest of the week as a deload. So I'll go in Wednesday and Friday every other day. Like those other days, uh, what is it? Tuesday, Thursdays, Saturday and Sunday, not gonna do much. Wednesday and Friday are more gonna be active recovery and accessory work just so I can like be in the gym be doing something I don't know my body too well in terms of like how long I take to detrain so I'll, I'll go in just in case and hopefully I'll be fresh for next week because I was really excited to start the intensity block of this program but like if I'm gonna get injured doing it and be out of training for a month plus or like god forbid like permanently that's really not worth it i think like it's really valuable to put that in your head that like temporary breaks from training like a week off is way more worth like it's more worth it than pushing yourself for that week of training being in even more pain possibly leading to injury which will set you back way more than taking a week off taking a week off will probably make you stronger anyways right so that's the plan and um hate to do this to you guys but if you could like comment subscribe <laughs> i think that algorithm like checks for that so it'll like look through the audio and essentially if you have like comment and subscribe like if you say it it's more likely to recommend the video to other people and it'd be nice to grow the channel a bit more. Hopefully this video isn't too, too boring. I think it'll be a little shorter when I edit it. Like I think about almost eight minutes now. And then I guess before I end the video, yeah. After the program playing the taper, uh, just go in like two days to train. And then on Friday of that week, I'll do a mock meet. So that should be really, really fun. Should be a fun video to make too. Hopefully, um, I just get better with my editing and maybe it'll be a bit more cinematic. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really excited for that, but uh, I gotta finish the program first. Besides that, hopefully then I'll have a video before that. 
I'm definitely planning to. And here's to hoping it's a bit more fun to watch in this one. This was just an update. I'll catch you guys in the next one.